All right. So again, this is a Zelda randomizer. I haven't done this in months. Almost like a half, whole half year, it seems like. So I don't remember if I remember everything. Let's go to Mido's house to start. I'll say the controls feel a little clunky. Oh yeah, this is the uh, version 8 <laughs> randomizer. It's so another uh, chest details here, meaning we have something in here. Let's see. Oh. Oh yeah, I forget. So, looks like there is a heart on it, so that means they have heart pieces, so it'll be nice. So I decided to show us there's something specific in these chests, and it looks like they updated it. So that heart piece chests have uh, heart pieces on it. I'm actually curious to see what the uh, big chests with the uh, mage items look like. Oh, nothing. Got some monies. Yep. I don't remember if I put the shop randomized. Guess we'll find out. Looks like they are randomized, and it looks like I can buy anything. Uh, I believe we're good then. I don't know if there's anything else to do. I think we can go to the field. Let's see the latest, suckers. to the lake to start. I know a lot of people like it's a I don't know if you think the gamble, but I think the timing works out perfectly, mainly because you can walk back to the castle, and you can even time it so that uh, it's just about night time. It's been fully optimized the time. six months since my last rando. I feel like I remember most of the checks here, at least the basic checks. Oh, looks like nothing. Uh, let's see what this is. Spirit Temple is foolish. Nice. Keep that in mind. Got a stick. I guess I don't necessarily need to open up the chests that are not, you know, marked to have something in them. I don't know, it's kind of like a completionist thing for me. Even though, you know, normally you do these randomizers to do them as fast as you can, for the most part. At least that's kind of what uh, I do. I do find it funny that actually back running is actually fun or faster than uh, forward running. Mm-hmm. 
I'm kind of glad the spirit temple is uh, barren since uh, it's kind of out of the way. Dang it. Ooh, slingshot, hell yeah. No, I need you. Mm, yeah, there's no way of getting there without the Kuko, unfortunately. Sacrifice the Kuko for slingshot. The randos are back. I don't know about all the way back. But they're back. <laughs> At least for today. How are you today? Yeah, there's no volleyball today since uh, post hurricane cleanups happening, so. Figured, let's uh, do a rando for fun. Sacred Forest Meadows Way of Hero. Nice. I believe that's the uh, Surya song drop. You are playing the uh, version 8 of the randomizer. Not 100% sure what they changed. Aside from bugs. I knew they changed a little bit of the um, chest graphics. Like chests that have um, like a heart piece inside or something important. Changed what it looks like on the outside. Yeah, <laughs> but like treasure chest graphics, <laughs> like Zelda's chest. <laughs> if only. But this is a child's game. No, I'm just kidding. It's half child's game. It's... Pretty sure all of us are adults now that have uh, played the original when it first came out. Meaning we are all adults. <laughs> it came out over like 25 years ago. I don't know. This fish. Yeah, I think for now it's pretty much basic settings, nothing too involved or crazy. I was gonna do one of the challenge seats, but maybe I can save that for another time. I actually forgot we have to give it back to him when he gets angry. Um, so I turned off having to collect 40 and 50 school, gold schools. So I think I'm just gonna go straight back to the castle right now. forward. I'm not sure if I'll start streaming a lot like I used to. Because yeah, a lot of my days are nice, I should say, are taken up by volleyball. Uh, let me check something real quick before I fly off into the not sunset. Let's see if I uh, randomize scrubs or not. Don't think I did, but might as well check it while we're here. Oh, I did. Oh, that's too many rupees for nothing. Is it good to know though? Oh no, I'm a fool. Yeah, at first I assumed I didn't do anything randomized, but heard of the shops. But I should have remembered. Ooh, big wall. I should remember that the uh, shop in the forest was randomized, so it's not as basic as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it's out there. Might as well just do the whole shebang on our return. Return to playing these randos. I think of anything, I could just uh, bring challenge seeds back on a more regular basics. 
It's creating these, uh... Customized ones is fun and all, but... I feel like it ends up being very similar every time. Hope my settings don't change. <laughs> I do need to get back to playing uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth. Been out for too long and haven't finished it yet. Still been trying to avoid any spoilers. Uh, don't think I want to buy that shield. Nah. Nah, we don't buy shields here. I don't think. I think I'd only buy a wooden shield. I don't necessarily need the... Uh... Ooh, speaking of. If it's cheap, I'll get it. And it is... the normal price. That's fine. Strength upgrade when I do the claim check. A song taught by Ocarina of Time is Surya's song, which usually is not that important. Fire Temple, so I have hero. Uh, final treasure of Ice Cavern is Arrows, but there's still a song there, so that could still be important. Maybe. Um, oh, yeah. Grab this money. Oh, wait, it's at night. I was gonna say, like, where's my money? There's usually a 20 rupee in one of those crates, but I think it's only at night. So my aim's still good. Oh, the squeakies. <laughs> this will be a frog sound. <laughs> I think my sling shot's a little uh, squeaky there. That's my missing shots. Yeah. Oh, heart piece. Um, can't wait till the bomb chew shop opens up at night. Give me my egg, my eggy. Uh, I believe the rocks actually do not kill skull skulls, even if you try to throw it at them. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to remember the order of how to do this. I believe I just wait for nighttime so I can uh, do nighttime things inside the market. By the time I get to the castle, it'll be morning again. Then I just miss the whole time cycle. It's all naked. Let's put the shield on. It doesn't automatically equip. Okay, <laughs> that is the nighttime sound. There's that 20 rupee. Uh, this one. How do I switch dogs again? I don't want that dog. I want this dog. Uh, I don't want that dog. Dang it. <laughs> okay, accidentally aggroed that dog. So I can't get rid of him until I turn it in. I think. Oh, I got rid of it. Interesting. I'm not sure how that worked out, but I have to go back and grab the right dog. Let's check the bomb to shop. That is a bomb bag chew. <laughs> what the heck? See that? Just eyes on that bomb bag. I can't tell if it's a bomb bag or a bomb chew. Or maybe... <laughs> I'm gonna buy it just because. See what happens. You found a bomb chew bag. It has some bomb chews inside. Find more in tall grass. Oh, what? That's new. That's very new. 
So before you can only get bomb chews if Ooh, it's five. Ooh, it's very cheap for heart. Hey. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's new to this. I'm not sure if version eight or version seven had it. The randomizer patcher. Yeah, we never had bomb chew bags like that before. <laughs> it looks pretty funny. Anyways. Turn in the dog. Take your dog. Take your dog. Aw. Darn it. Alright. Okay. So nice. So I believe it says we can find bomb trees and grass now. Very interesting. I wonder if we can play this now. Will this activate bomb chew bowling? I believe so. Nice. No. Mm. I believe we can just leave and come back and it'll change the uh, thing. Change the reward. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That part, <laughs> that part just means there's no actual reward. I don't think I have to that now. Let's see if I remember this one. I think that's too high. Should be it. No, oh, slightly. What's wrong with that one? I don't know. I don't think it's high enough. That's no, too high. This bunch of bowling to the uh, Temple of Time music is. It's a pro feel pretty epic. That's that five cents. Five rupees. Ah, oh, seeds. I don't want that. All right. Blow them all up. I'm out, right? I think usually if the first reward is nothing, then both rewards are nothing. That's usually the case, anyways. Go to the castle. Let's reassign. I don't have Ocarina of Time song, or Zelda's lullaby, I mean. So I can't go to that great fairy. Second first metal is way up here. Huh? I actually don't know if it's gonna be the Ria's song that she teaches us or the Minuet of Forest song that she teaches us later. Miracle. 
All right, let's see what we get. We got. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Yep, they did not change <laughs> any of those chests. Oh, nice. Well, a spirit temple that I don't need. I could hmm, have to think about the best way of tackling that. So, spirit temple is nothing, but it doesn't mean the music slash song has nothing. Just gotta check it out at some point. Daytime stuff. So Andrew gives us. She gives us a bunch of money, which I'll take. I think our piece or not our piece red rupee. I think what I could do is warp to the spirit temple. Uh save and reset. Let me just save right now. Let me see Dampage dig. Save reset. And then we'll be back at the forest, which we can it's serious song, whatever that is. Kind of wish I had a full-on bomb bag, but either way, I don't have a sword to uh, pack grass, break her, cut grass. Anything up here? Red or purple ruby? Oh, these have bombs. Maybe they're supposed to be all... All hearts and whatnot. I don't think if I can even do anything in Goron City without... I don't think so. I'm just gonna wait for nighttime then. Uh, let me just chill right here so I don't have to deal with these jumping bastards. Start walking. Walking very slowly. Walking not so slowly. Come on, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> when they just jump over your block. Uh, wait, did you say there was flooding near me? Nope. At least not to my knowledge. Um, it was actually pretty, uh, very tame. It's funny because, uh, so I went on a trip to Massachusetts, um, three weeks ago now? Three weeks ago? And while I was away, it rained, and apparently that was very bad. To the point where, like, it flooded all the way up to our driveway, like, the end of our driveway, and I live in front of a big, well, a big road that has a big, like, drainage ditch in front. And apparently that was, like, super filled. We get all the way up to my, oops, all the way up to our driveway. And that was just from regular rain, but the hurricane didn't do shit <laughs> compared to that, so I don't know. Very interesting, to say the least, but yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, hell yeah. Mirror shield. Uh, too bad the Spirit Temple is... Uh, they told us it was foolish, so there's actually nothing in there. Ooh, it was a heart piece. So that's what I was talking about, the chest graphics. So if there's a heart piece inside, yeah, there's a heart on the chest. <laughs> Which I guess people can decide whether or not they want to, uh, take it or not, but yeah. Yeah, my area was pretty unscathed, I'd say. Yep, that's good. Very good. I'm glad. And we didn't lose power, so that's also a good thing. I've pretty much just had the whole day to play my gacha games. <laughs> I must have played like five hours of Star Rail. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the bulk of my day is playing Star Rail main story stuff. Did a little bit of Genshin and some of the other gacha games too. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. But I, I, I did do some work. So. It wasn't totally a wasted day. And I could have done some more stuff today too, but I'm like, meh. So everything's closed, no one's doing anything, so I might as well not do anything either. I'm about to might do some stuff tomorrow. So I kind of told my uh, co-worker slash supervisor, I don't even know what you want to call him. He's just the guy that programs for us. That is blue flame. I'm <laughs> like, what is that? I've never seen that before. I believe that's a blue flame. Don't really need that. But yeah, I told him I'll finish certain things tomorrow. Or by the end of the week, I should say. And that's tomorrow. So honestly, I probably should have just broken it up into two parts instead of just doing it all tomorrow. Tomorrow on Sunday, to be exact. Yeah, that's the nice thing, but also the bad thing about having a remote job. Just everything's procrastinatable. <laughs> Is that a word? Procrastinatable. Let's put things off till later. So you said you're coming in next week, so the question is, what do you want to eat? I have a few options in mind. Uh, I guess it depends on what kind of food you want. Uh, questions, wait, where am I going? I think I'm going to the Spirit Temple. I think it depends on if you need to accommodate my name, TJ. I do have a suggestion that's near them, at least over in the Brandon area. It is all you can eat sushi and hibachi. And it's supposedly better than the uh, umami that we went to. So we can go there if we want to. Of course, the issue is trekking through traffic to get there in a reasonable hour. Actually, let me see. When do they close, is the question. I've been like four times now, so it's really good. Uh, the portions are a little bigger too. Even though it's all you can eat, you know. But, you know. Uh, they do close at 10. So we can get there by like 7.30, 8 o'clock. And just eat till we drop. If that's, you know, something y'all open to. And I've been on a uh, semi-fast, oh yeah, semi-fasting diet, which I've dropped about uh, four or five pounds. Um, see, I'm trying to watch my weight, watch what I'm eating. That is something. I ask this every time, I was like, can you see what that is? Oh, it's a stick. I saw it. That's yeah, a stick. That's a Deku stick. It's a manifesting. Between that and also just not eating that much. 
I try to max around around like 1500 calories. That's on the high end. I can also uh, lowball it to like 1000, maybe less, or slightly more. I don't know, around that much. Uh, let's double check, make sure I saved. <laughs> it would be unfortunate if I did not save. Reset. It's been really good, um, and also just lowering my sugar intake helps a lot too. Not to say I don't intake sugar at all, but I definitely don't. Don't drink boba as much, but I will if uh, we ever go. Um, it's like, what am I doing here? So yeah, we're going to see Saria, see what song she got. I do have Zealous all by now, so I can do more things. Yeah, I think that's the extent of going to the Spirit Temple. We don't really need to go there. Unless that uh, Great Fairy has something. Kakariko Village is the Way of Hero. Hmm, trying to think. Could be Adult Link stuff. So we were just there, and there was really nothing I can remember. Uh, yeah, if sushi is on the menu, then uh, we can go there. I know Man and TJ doesn't really eat it like that, but of course they have hibachi options. Um, but if we can stay local, we can go to this other Japanese place that I've been to several times. And if we're not feeling Japanese at all, then uh, we can search for other options. Of course, there's Korean. Let's say the Royal Tomb that. Oh, Blair of Fire, nice. Well, that is the, uh, I did just get Bella's Lullaby. So I can go to, um, the graveyard and go grab that. It's, like, oddly quiet. I'm actually really sad. So I turned off battle music. The battle music would like overcome the randomized music. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. I forgot that the way the the way Lost would work is that if you're facing the wrong way, the music will kind of diminish to kind of tell you you're going the wrong way. I also forgot to go to Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, did I do that before I leave? An adult. Sticks, you know, I haven't used a single stick yet. Like, not having the sword really like requires us to have sticks, so it's always nice to get more. Uh, I guess I'll start using my bomb shoes. I nice hope we can replenish them. Ooh, big chest. So they kept that graphic the same. Curry Forest is foolish, no. I always hate when that um, hint comes up because we pretty much just spawn in the forest, so that's where we get all of our fire arrows. And that's where we get all of our uh, opening items. Um, let's create this shortcut. So we actually do not have enough uh, grip strength to pick up bombs. But these bomb shoes are really pulling through. No, I do feel like having the bomb shoe, like, I guess, bag. It's kind of cheating. <laughs> yeah, that's a 
pretty new introduction, at least for me. I don't usually have that, like, set up. Uh, I just need your fire, sir. Thank you. I don't have Saria's song, so I can't actually play the song for him. Oh, actually, I don't need this. So I actually needed to open the shop. Hopefully that's enough. Hell yeah. Nah, he has nothing. Mm, if these bomb juice are cheap, I will buy some more bomb juice. They are not cheap. I guess we're not buying any then. Oh, I realized that um, I didn't randomize the prices for the shop stuff. Let's just go back. But maybe I should uh, stop this rolly guy. Come back. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. I'm like inside of his belly. I'm a fool. Ah. So I'm like, yep, I knew it. <laughs> Here, let's go back. Go back to the forest. the right way. Oh. I try to be cheeky and do the first strike to kill it. Um, I can actually open this up. Let's do that. Too late. Oh, that was too early. Oh, I broke the stick on him. Nice. Sounds like I wasted a stick. And I actually didn't waste it at all. So this is just a normal money chest, looks like. Yep. I got. Ow, what? Why did I lock onto that one? Ow. This e targeting is pretty awkward right now. Ow. 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 
I don't think that is what we're looking for. It's part of the other song. Swords River is foolish, nice. I was gonna check that too, but they're telling me I don't have to. And just going back to the idea of what it really means to be a foolish choice, it just means. They're not going to give us any major item that will help progress through the, the randomizer. So it could have still give us, like, I don't know, Naru's Love or Guru Fortress. Hell yeah, it's foolish, dude. Sweet. I, that's usually a big... Well, unfortunately, it's not the training grounds. It's just the outside, so that means I don't have to do horseback archery. But I still have to do the... Uh, I was gonna do something. It's... I was about to do something, I just totally blanked out. I think I'm gonna go back to Guam City and that can be the way I can take to get back to the castle. It's still kinda long to get there, but. It's all good. Oh, I can do this, uh, bomb stop thing. <laughs> the timing's really awkward, though, unfortunately. Oh, wait. I don't need to be this high. This bomb flower. Oh, hell yeah. That might have done it, actually. That might be the right time. Nice. Got the normal heart piece. Anything else we can do? I don't want to waste all these bomb chews on the uh, rock maze up top, but maybe I just should. I can only get the uh, Scotola as a kid. And I have kind of plenty of bomb chews, and now that I can get it in the grass, it really makes it so I should just go ahead and use it all willy-nilly. Gotta make sure I don't waste any extra ones though. And do I remember is this one? Ow. <laughs> I'm being way too reckless with this. There you go. Oh, nothing. But this is it. Shadow Temple is way good. Parmy doesn't even want to check these things. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I was hoping a bomb chew would pop out of that rock. Ooh. Sorry about one. You see, that's why we don't buy <laughs> shields. Because you're bound to get one. Yeah, we actually got both already. Like adult shield and child shield. Um, anything else we can do here? I think we're good. Let's go ahead and head out. I don't have the Song of Storms to open this up. I think it's Song of Storms. Yeah, I'm guessing these are just all money. Did it say uh, we can only get bomb trees in the grass, I guess? Let's see. Let's not waste. Ooh, big chest. 
Bomb bag. Oh, double defense. I'll take that. Double D's. Uh, I guess the other question is, do I want to risk my shield? I can get the uh, Impus House drop normally. Plus, I only have four bombs. Yeah. Right, let's uh, go to Lon Lon Ranch, I believe. I could also go into Dongo's Cavern for a little bit. I uh, usually want to do it as an adult, actually. I'll take it back. I only have eight skulls. I could grab that one, but man, nah, I'll just hold on to these bombs. So I'm still hoping to get some uh, more bomb shoes. Like pots of rocks or something. But maybe not. Maybe I can only get it through grass. But now with the strength upgrade, I can actually pick up grass. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and grab that skull then. Actually, eh, I can just get it when I'm an adult. I'm already this far out. I'm too lazy to run back. Right, anything else? I think just uh, Long on Ranch. Let's go to the ranch and then let's become big. Become an adult. You know, I've been watching a uh, other streamer play a bunch of Resident Evil games, and he actually played um, Umbrella Chronicles. It's pretty much their like rail shooter type game. Yeah, and probably wants to play it again. I do have it. Apparently, there's another one called Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, so the Umbrella Chronicles uh, pretty much recaps the first. Three or three games? Resident Evil 0, 1, and 2. I think. And then. Oh, he missed. And then, uh, Dark Side Chronicles, uh. Kind of recaps. Well. I think that one's the one that recaps Resident Evil 2. Then it goes through Leon and Claire's. Correct the Raccoon City. Anyways, it'll be fun to play. I'm not sure if I would, but I do have my Wii. It's still in the other room. This one. This one. Yeah. I'll be dead. Peace. Alright, so I need to go to the... the grotto. Oh, I do need to learn uh, the bonus song or whatever song this is. There's a growl in the back too with a bunch of merchants. Nice. That's a good song, too. Um... Try to think if I even want to use that right now. I'm just too lazy to deal with, um... What's it called? Oh, I can use it to get back to the castle really fast. Wait. Can I do that there? 
Pretty sure that was the way to do it. Oh well, I'll just... The normal way. Yeah, it's a blue rupee. Pretty sure I saw somebody uh, roll into the wall and camera up like that. Pretty sure... I just did it wrong. <laughs> but well. Wait, let's check these merchants. I pretty much just want to go back to the castle, right? Become an adult. Funny enough, I think warping to the lake and then using the owl to come back is probably the fastest. Alright. Ow. I knew it. <laughs> That's a take that I thought I was gonna. Jump back in, and then he did jump back in. Well, no. no. Um, let's go and do that. I don't think I need to make a scarecrow song. I'd say it was a pretty good haul for, um... You know, I realized, I don't know if, um, the tree was blocked off. I kind of assumed it was. She needed the, uh, sword and shield to get in. We'll find out later. Do some other things. Can get Din's fire drop. Do 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 do. Doesn't throw me out. need to know where the medallions are. I don't think Saria's song is going to be an important thing to get in this run. Especially if they said one of the temples, the major temples are foolish. So if I have to do all the dungeons then that means Saria's song is important. We do need to figure out what's important here, though. Deku Tree. Shadow Temple. I already have that. Spirit. Wait. Oh. 
just because spirit is foolish doesn't mean I don't have to complete it for the medallion. Water. And fire. The fire is way of hero. Alright. So pretty much in the fire, or er, not fire, the spirit temple, I just got to find everything. Find all the keys and the uh, boss key. Stiff. Hey, what's up, Gray? How is it going? Long time. Long time no see. Long time no stream, of course. Hope you're doing well. Things are okay-ish. Guess that's good to hear. Nothing bad, nothing good, just living. Shield. I think the last time I streamed was a good six months ago. It's pretty long. Maybe, maybe not a full six months. Cause I do remember having one stream at one point. But yeah. Tragedy. No, not the tragedy. Good job searching. Cause a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff for you. Yeah, I think the newest thing for me was me going on a trip to visit my cousin for his wedding. That was back in end of August. Yeah, I think we flew out on the 29th of August or something like that. Job such a sex right now? Yeah. But when my mom lost her job um, right before we went on that trip, which is unfortunate. And yeah, I don't know how she's gonna get a job. <laughs> Because, you know, a lot of the online job postings kind of require, um, at, like, at least a high school diploma. <laughs> and she doesn't have any of that. Because she immigrated here back in 86 or so and never finished school. And so, yes. Not looking good. Um, I told her pretty much, like, the only way this is going to work is if, uh, she finds somebody to kind of bring her into the company. Because, yeah, should just coal apply? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. We need money's what can you do? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. And, um... Like, what kind of things have you been doing to, uh, look for jobs? But yeah, again, one interesting thing is that uh, we can now get these bomb shoes from the grass. <laughs> that was never a thing before. At least not in the other randomizers that I've played up to date. You know, plus their high school diploma on their resume. Yeah, most companies just assume you have. Yeah, I think it's mainly because we or she's trying to get like a basic, like manufacturing style job. And so I guess they like entry level, so they still. Kind of asked for it. Yeah, it said like high school diploma or GED. Like, my mom ain't got neither of those. She barely knows English. Yeah, that's the major thing that's handicapping her. The no English part. Well, it's very little English. It's not like she's totally oblivious, but. Still something uh, I would have to. Help her with or somebody. I said I got someone to help with job searching, but at least half of the places I've looked at are not considering you. No, <laughs> screw English. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think for like those manufacturing type of jobs, like you know, English and whatnot, is not as necessary. He's just lie. I'm old. I don't have the document. <laughs> Possibly, yeah, that's true too. 
she do the old. That's rough too, though. I mean, honestly, I feel like she would be okay without getting a job, but... Of course, she just won as much as you can before having to retire for real. Nice, blur of fire. I love having all these warp songs. Funny enough, I think they did tell me that I was going to get the Bolero here. I just totally forgot. What I have to look forward to is writing my stories. Stories for your games? You're still working on those? So you wanted to make a kind of JRPG style game? Yeah. Damp a race. Okay, I think the uh, most important part right now is just having health insurance. Uh, she did elect, or is electing to um, get that Cobra coverage, continuing coverage. But of course, it's just very expensive without your company uh, paying for it or whatever. Maybe I shouldn't get like two months of that and then cut it right as a uh, new enrollment period happens. And then hopefully we can find something rather cheap. So I think even then she should do best going to a face-to-face -face place. Because that was Arpus. Because like, I try to do it through the online government website, but apparently they don't know who she is. <laughs> well, that's kind of annoying, but I realize I don't have a song of time. And that's it. Do this. What? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I even called her, I like called in to do the verification, and they still didn't. I, I don't know, that was weird. But I guess I should probably call the other number. But apparently they did their uh, verification thing through a third party. But I guess that didn't work. So I'd have to call through uh, the actual healthcare.go number they have up there. Sun song. Hey, maybe I'll just do that next month. Uh, what was I gonna do? Uh, let's open this up. Oh, barely got it. Into my blade. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the other main uh, solution is just her finding another job somehow. I don't know. Oh, uh, where's it gonna go? Oh, yeah, Dongo's Cavern. That's good. Uh, first, actually, me go to these two shops. What do we got in here? We got some hover boots. Hell yeah! Get that. They're on sale too. Forty-five. Uh, let's not buy that heart since it's super expensive. The bomb is also pretty expensive. And because we have the uh, strength upgrade, we can actually beat Dongo's Cavern. Uh, this guy is not selling anything. Not these sticks. These are just regular sticks. I would have gotten one if it was capacity upgrade. Hey. 
Too far away. So we'll beat Dongo's cavern first. Hopefully, get a bow. I do need a bow. I could probably take that uh, beam. Oh yeah, I have these hover boots, which is pretty nice. Oh, uh, he's not good enough. <laughs> it's not nice enough. I just gotta do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna need some, uh, more nuts here though. I probably can set bombs just by grabbing this bomb flower. Oh yeah, I do need to check the other scrub in here. That's the bad thing about turning on randomized scrubs. You actually have to... Check more than normal. I think the village wave hero. Pretty sure I... Oh yes, the uh, hover boots, probably. Probably the hover boots. Pretty sure I did everything. Let's call this new project I'm working on as Soul Beast Chronicles. That was really interesting. All adventure. <laughs> That sounds pretty fancy. Uh, I should probably switch to my normal shield, actually. Oh, no, I guess. Just so I can bounce these nuts back. These nuts? Would've been cool if there was a way to, um, quick switch between shields. Ow. Hey, Jays, what's up? How's it going? How are you doing? Yeah, for those joining us, we are playing a... Uh, randomizer for his Dungeon of Zelda, or Queen of Time. I actually haven't streamed for like... I said six months originally, but I think it's about three, three months. You okay taking a course? Nice. So what's the uh, course on? What are you learning? Some more computer stuff? I think, uh... Some time ago. Talked about you finding a remote job of some sort. Computer job. Might have been Discord banter, but. Let's see. Um, HTML CSS course, nice. The one I wanted to take for a long time now, nice. Yeah, I remember taking a uh, course like that. It's on a, um, whoops. I took mine on this website called, I think it was edX. It's been a while since I actually took it, but it was interesting. I had like the basics down. And then I like messed around with it. Uh, let me just do it this way. I'm gonna just hold this and Take the damage. So I want this skull. Nice got 
well, I got Udemy for now. I was advised to just pick one resource and stick with it. Nice. Are you also going to do JavaScript too at some point? No, I tried JavaScript a little bit, like their course, that website I was talking about. That course on JavaScript, and you really gotta think outside the box for a lot of the stuff. And I don't like doing that, so <laughs> I think that's when I realized programming is not for me. Because JavaScript is more in the realm of programming, as opposed to the HTML and CSS. So I feel that slightly easier. A little more clear cut, like they don't need as much. JavaScript sucks, yeah. Ooh, bomb bag, heck yeah. I've been waiting for a bomb bag. Uh, let's go ahead and clip it. I don't think I need my bomb cheese anymore. It's kind of fitting, uh, getting the bomb bag in the uh dungeon that gives you bomb bags. Oh, this doesn't give me anything. Ooh, a bunch of money. Heck yeah. Um, surprised I don't like programming. I think, I guess, just there's so much into it, and I think I get overwhelmed by the end result. And of course, you know, the website or whatever I was using didn't really go step by step. They kind of just told you a bunch of stuff, and then you kind of figure things out. And I think that was too big of a jump. So if anything, I just need a different place that would instruct me how to program. Um, because again, the uh, remote job I have right now, we do, like the guy who kind of brought us all together is the programmer. Um, so originally those three people, me, the data entry guy, uh, another guy who's like, deep inside like health insurance healthcare business um but more like uh life insurance because he's like this has got to be a way to automate this a little more and so the programmer's like i have an idea or like we can collaborate together to create this program that's what they did they pulled me in to like do the heavy lifting and it's gotten to the point where he's too busy because he's um been creating e-applications for things, so then his uh, time has been pulled elsewhere. It's pretty much for the past two or three months, he's just been rather MIA. Um, and the thing is, that kind of put a slow slash heavy halt to what we were doing, what I was doing. I missed uh, that bomb. And again, the thing that he pretty much did was, uh, you know, create the extra special coding for some of this uh, data entry stuff. That requires like multiple inputs and whatnot. Um, so to some degree, he kind of showed me how I could do it. And so I've been kind of tinkering with his language, because he pretty much used like a similar thing to Perl to create his uh his software. Yeah, I just like kind of monotonous, just doing it type things, like tasks. And that's why uh, Chick Fil A was uh still you know, as, as hard as it was. It was still pretty. Easy. I uh, tracked that way too early. I don't think I even need, uh, need to blow that up. And it kind of goes back to those like manufacturing style jobs where you just do the same thing over and over and over and over <laughs> and still get the same paycheck. Very uh, brainless, and I can use my brain to do my hobbies. Oh yeah, I need to go down there, actually. Yeah, I love this. Take these nuts. 
Oh, only one of them took my net. Let's see what he has. Oh, he has money. That's a stick. Uh, program is not for me as I thought that has been nagging my head for years, yeah. Yeah, I think there's to some degree a creative component to programming. To some degree. But you still have to like and create you know your objects and variables and stuff and how they interact with each other. And uh each language has their own major functions, but, you know, once you start making things from scratch, that's when, uh, it's uh, very confusing. Um, yeah, I think for me, I just need a better learning conduit <laughs> to learn the programming stuff. So I think the concepts, the basic concepts are pretty uh, straightforward, but it's just wants to start get, start piecing them together is where things get crazy. What's that giant's wallet? Um, the AI scare also got inside your head? The idea that, like, you can- what? You can AI, uh, everything digitally. <laughs> like, chat GBT and, uh, like, deep fakes and all that. Programming JavaScript is very different from programming and other things. Yeah, JavaScript, it's like its own beast. I don't know. But it's not as straightforward, I think, the language of it. It's not like user friendly, like reader friendly. Because all the codes and functions are kind of. something, something, something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I play with it a little bit. But I think also it's because I didn't really have a major project in mind. And I was just doing random stuff, so it didn't really like seem all that nice to do. So yeah, you really just need a project to work on. Otherwise, a lot of this stuff kind of seems meaningless. Uh, I need to find a focus on front end. I need JavaScript whether I like it or not. So the, then there's that other uh, kind of talk or debate where, you know, you just use um, other people's already created software to like web design. So that's pretty much what HTML, CSS, even JavaScript is pretty much all used for. It's like web design. So yeah, to some degree it becomes pretty obsolete in the, the modern day. Unless, of course, again, you're just making stuff from scratch without, you know, having to pay for people's things. Uh, I figured if I could learn it and not die trying, <laughs> I could actually get a decent job in the future and improve my economic situation. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good thing to do. Scored a gig making a basic web page for someone and designing wasn't fun. Now I have to code it. So the question is, do you um, kind of do like it's called? Do you use what's the word? Kind of like paint or other digital art softwares to like do the pre-planning? Then eventually you code it. 
Honestly, that's probably the main issue I have with anything I do <laughs> when it comes to like create creative things. I don't plan it out. I try to kind of fast forward to the final product, but you really have to plan all the pieces out and kind of like do it in chunks, not just all of it. It's one major thing I wanted to do, and you can see it now is um, a VTuber design. And I didn't want to like pay somebody to do it. And so I did some re like preliminary research. And at least for the model side, you just had to create a bunch of um, like layers to your model. And then eventually use like the VTuber art thing <laughs> to like rig it up. So move. Move when you move type of thing. Kind of like a one to one piecing of parts. Of course, I'm simplifying down heavily, but that's like the gist of it. So like the designing part can take hours, days, weeks, months. The actual rigging can also take that much time, especially if you're not versed in doing any of that. Use Figma. I never heard of Figma before, but I guess the job done. It's all good. I heard this something called like GIMP. Is that like a free digital art making software? Actually, let me read this one. Shadow Temple. Everyone use Figma now. Maybe I should use Figma. Though I did purchase this license to a uh, British version of like Photoshop and all that. Which is pretty nice. I just paid, uh, I think at the time I got on sale 25 per software. I bought three of their softwares. It's like Publisher, Designer and like photo. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> Thanks. But, um. Yeah. And so I pretty much have access to, I guess, uh, high level, high grade stuff. Like, digital art stuff. I just need to. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, he's not a. Uh... I need the claim check. Wait, oh, because he gives us a strength upgrade. I forgot. Um, let's see. I can better when things are organized, but I need to learn how to better prepare projects. Yeah. So I did kind of, um, for like little goals to like make my. Uh, YouTuber model. Uh, I just haven't done any of it. <laughs> this. In the list phase. So the main thing is supposed to look like the current art thing I got on stream now. Because I actually got that from an AI thing. AI filter. So I'm like, yeah, it looks pretty nice. But that's a bomb bag. I'll go ahead and grab it. So if and when I really do try to, uh, oops. Actually, let me just warp the bank. Yeah, it's just warp. Wait. There you go. Yeah, when I do go to make it, it should probably look a lot like that image. I just gotta do it. Uh, said fire temples on the way up hero, but I don't have a hammer, so I don't want to go in there right now. Yes. I guess I could just go in for a little bit. Let's see what's up. Though I feel like I should look for the hammer first. Oh well. Let's see what happens. Unless you're talking about mass, then that's something completely different. 
Let's see. I'm gonna try data entry, but there's no demand here. And Upwork is a race to the bottom. Race to the bottom. Yeah, I'm actually very lucky to have the remote job I have right now. One of my friends, 8-Bit, uh, linked me with one of his old roommates from college. And yeah, he's the programmer. And yeah, he, at the time, this was like six to eight years ago, a while ago. Um, he just needed help with data entry because, you know, that's like the heavy workload stuff where it's like you don't really want to do it, but you have to do it. <laughs> so he kind of outsourced it to me for, uh, I forgot how much he paid me per hour out of his pocket. It was like 15. It's a pretty good amount, actually, but he definitely turned into something big because I'm pretty sure that she's making bank right now. <laughs> I mean, a lot of programmers do, right? At least if they hit it big. Yeah, we got signed with a uh, health insurance group. And since then, uh, oops. We've all been uh, paid pretty handsomely, I'd say. And I'm just doing like, you know, the heavy lifting stuff. Like, everyone else is doing like other parts. Um, okay, I'm gonna pull this open. Should be able to, yeah. Local economy is shit for real now, so I need to learn a future proof digital skill, yeah. I don't know, because like, even then a lot of things are getting automated, like we're talking about AI and all that. But, it's gotta be hopeful. <laughs> you have to game consoles don't buy by themselves, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I don't buy games at launch anymore. There's only a few certain uh, titles or whatever that I would, but for the most part. I don't buy things at launch. Alright, so we're gonna have to try to... Oh yeah, I can use bomb cheese on this. I forgot. Oh, hey, oh what? Why did that not count? I don't understand. Yo, yeah, Lince is our resident IT guy that knows everything. There we go. So he's our computer science guru. You actually catch him on stream sometimes. He does uh, uh, programming type stuff. Or like security type stuff. Oh, when the AI built stuff goes bust, who will fix it? A human. That's true. And the only issue though is, yeah, that we only need one or two humans. <laughs> yeah, I was streaming forever, yeah. Me too. Until today. I guess today only happened because there's no volleyball. Because everyone's still on the post hurricane cleanup. So all the venues are closed today, so I'm like, I guess I can stream. Increasing the main also gun too good, yeah. But I think just regardless though, a lot of companies, even if it's not straight programming and more on the data entry side, uh, they would still want like computer literacy. So at least you can uh, deal with computers. That might be a good thing. But yeah, it's getting to a point where yeah, a lot of the older generations can't keep up with the whoop, the software. And interface and all that stuff. Granted, not like a lot of the companies upgraded their <laughs> software. Like some people are still running on like Windows 7. At least I know my boss was for a while until he finally upgraded. And it's mainly because again support shut off and now we're using uh 
What's it called? Cloud based uh, appointment scheduling thing, database thing. So I really want to just run and jump and grab that, but I don't know if I have enough. Run. I ain't sure if it's even worth. It's worth. Nice. Yeah, I figure I just uh, hold out with the company I'm with now. I do not have Syria's song, so I should just warp. So There's supposed to be something important here. That's the song. This is not important. Wait, what was here that was important? I don't have a song of storms. I don't remember. I don't remember. So is reverse foolish. What should you next? What can I do? Uh, don't have a hook shot for that. I really don't want to run. I don't want to run through here. Yes, yeah, so I do work at an office, um, part time. And I deal with their IT and uh, other mishaps, <laughs> whatever they need me to do, like all the odd jobs. Um, I kind of got grandfathered into that position because originally they hired me to be their math tutor. Um, the tutoring kind of dried up for me. But, um, yeah, now I just deal with their admin stuff, like, trying to clean up their paperwork stuff. I don't even need a, uh... Ow. I was gonna say, uh, Scarecrow or Hookshot. Get up here. Yeah, and so I got grandfathered into the IT side of things because their actual IT person passed away during like the second year of COVID. But not too COVID, it's just he was old and retired and yeah. And yeah, now I deal with their IT issues and help out where I can and I'm also trying to digitize all of their files. Paper files. So it's pretty interesting where like you get hired for something, but then the company needs you to do something else. So I'm sure that's gonna be the case for my remote job too. Might get to a point where I don't uh at least I have a bigger team since I've just Two or three of us. <laughs> but also, if I could learn the programming aspect of things, I can definitely secure my position in the Honestly, though, I think. I should have been really picking up on the programming aspect of our software. Because again, if the main programmer can't really do anything, or if he's like too busy on other projects, then it would have been perfect if I really picked it up. So I got some of it, but just not enough to be like, I can do everything that he can do. Let's 
checked a waterfall of. Go to the valley. Yeah, I'm kind of in this awkward situation where I don't have things to really complete any dungeons. So I guess I just figured I'd lose more time not trying it than studying at least a couple hours every day. Yeah, I'd say just like any progress is good progress. So at least you'll have something under your belt. But it's always that funny, uh, funny thing where they're like, you need a certain amount of years of experience even though you've never had a job before. <laughs> and it's for like an entry level job. It's like, what the heck? How am I supposed to get that? But then people are like, you should have, you know, went to school and blah 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 blah. But yeah, that's the other issue too, is not that anybody can uh, afford schooling. Oops. See how these next couple months go for me. Um, I'll probably try to dive a little deeper into the programming side of things. So I do like chat with him about certain issues that I come up with. See if there's ways I can create the code myself. Especially if I just uh, go off of what he already has for other situations that are very similar. I'm not like inventing anything per se. I'm just using what's already available to piece it together. <laughs> because it's interesting. I do get like very positive feedback from him when I like come up with stuff. I'm like, I'm just barely doing anything, <laughs> but they're making it seem as if I'm like, I don't know, changing the world or something. <laughs> I'm, like I'm just doing. Feels like the bare minimum, but. I'm gonna headbutt into the ground. <laughs> it's very hilarious in game logic. It's like I should have died from that. Well, hopefully you have a uh, good luck in the next couple months or so with everything. Let's see, this is a bomb shoe. Okay, don't need that. Alright, so I gotta think, where do I go? Uh, I guess we can go to Zora's level river. Uh, I do have the sun song now, so let me... I get this chest. to complete a temple and it kind of is I can go into the I was about to say the grass temple that's the forest temple uh, the only issue is the forest temple doesn't have a medallion or it has a medallion or yeah this does have a medallion it has a um the other one emperor I can't remember what they called it the special gem thingy. 
I can also turn in ten some of these skulls. See if they have anything. Anything useful? And there's nothing useful. So where do I go? So I've done most things. I don't even know if the tree's open. I might just go into the forest temple. Because I have a hookshot now. Because I don't even think I can do anything in the forest domain. It's nothing to grab. Yeah, it's nothing to grab. Let me just go into the forest temple then. So if I do find the bow in here, I think I'll just leave. <laughs> the hookshot sound is a dog barking. That's great. the key ring. So I believe I set it so that you can get all the keys in one go. Big ol' ring. Yes. I believe I still need the bow and I can't complete this dungeon without it. Yeah, I don't really need to complete the dungeon either. Well, that's not necessarily true. I might have to get the boss drop if it's an important item. Tree, assuming I can get into the tree without the sword. do some of the spirit temple. Granted, I can't wait to finish the spirit temple later. There's so many things we can do. Thank you. 
Right on the bow. It's a good chance the boss key is locked. Since I don't have the bow here. Of course, uh, the rest of the dungeon might be locked because I don't have the bow. This way, real quick. Oh, I don't need this. Uh, I believe I only need to do this room. Containers are in these chests. Like in these small heart chests. But I think I did find a big heart container in a small chest. Uh, I want this skeleton over here, so I'm gonna go this way. Try not to fall off. Though I should probably just uh, drop down. Yeah, let me just drop down. I believe I need to go through here. Yeah, I need to go through here. Yeah. Drop down. Just gotta deal with that other guy up here by itself. You don't see me, bro? Nice. chest. Yeah, I'm pretty much just looking for the bow. Hopefully it's in here somewhere. Otherwise I'm gonna have to come back. There's a big chest. Big chest. Alright, what do we have? We have the hammer. Nice. I believe we can finish the fire temple. Honestly, I can probably just leave and just come back. Let me just do these preliminary rooms here. And then I can come back if I have to. I think there's only one. Well, actually, there's like three more chests I can get. Yeah, let me just get those three chests while I'm here. I have a feeling that's all I'm gonna find. I can also finish off uh, the Goron Rock Maze. Also think, can I finish the spirit temple as is? I need the silver gauntlets, so I can't quite yet.
Actually, I can't do anymore. What am I doing? I have the bow. I can't do anything else in here. Oh, fire temple? I do need the bow in fire temple, but I think I can get away with doing more of the fire temple. Let's have the hammer now. I'm actually surprised I have not come across the bottle yet. Yes, I think there's four more songs I need to learn. I need to remember which songs I haven't learned yet. Oops. Uh, Opening of Time song. Really the White song. Burning Kakariko song. Oops. Uh, let's do this. On my face. No. I'll take all the hits. <laughs> Just so I don't have to get sucked up by this guy. Sucked up. Correctly. I believe I can just do this actually. Yep. I think for the longest time I didn't realize I can just hammer to knock him off the flame dancer thing. No, I'll just grab it for fun. Ring. Dang, I didn't realize there was eight keys in here. Eight keys in this dungeon. Technically, I just need the boss key, and then we can go fight the boss boss. So I have the hover boots to get to him. Um. Let's go this way. Oh, this is nothing. to mention one exciting thing that happened I guess since I haven't been streaming uh my internet company actually uh decided to give me a free upgrade Whee. can't say it's like super faster <laughs> but it's definitely faster at least it has more upload speed which is nice because I didn't like I'm pretty sure I could have gotten it earlier if I just like called them and say 
Can you like, give me a discount or something? So I've actually had this particular internet company for like five years, if not longer. But unfortunately, I still don't have Fios in this area. I don't think. I even haven't checked. We are dying. Don't die. We got 20 seconds. We're not dying today. Oh, that's a big chest. That's what we've been looking for. I love that you can flip these guys over. Like some... Pretty docile. Exactly what I wanted to either. This way. Did I throw that in the right spot? Yeah, I did. chest here. I'm gonna grab it anyways. I think it helps because it just takes it off the map. So I don't have to get confused by it. I still didn't check if I get a scarecrow song or not. Uh, actually I need... Do I need to go that way? No, no, no. That's the one in the wall. That's not going to be a good idea either. Let's go. I still need the boss key. It's because checking all these other checks is not a bad idea. more skulls. Now I won't need any more skulls. Oops. Now wait, where's the actual door? It's this way. that but I think I can actually get to that room without switching it around. Let's see. Ah oh, dang it. There's the boss key, I need it. I need it. I think I can get it. I can get to it without the arrows. Though I wish I had arrows because I needed to kind of fast kill the boss. Oh, nice. So there's a free scarecrow.
20. I can check what that is after. So there's two major items I can get in this dungeon that would help. Uh, dense fire, or the bow. If I could get both, that'd be great. But I'm sure I won't be that lucky. And oh, that's a normal chest. Uh, let's not even waste our time. So there's actually three places we can get the bow at. Since there's uh, two upgrades and then the actual bow. And each of them count to uh, giving us the bow. <laughs> I barely landed on that corner. Oh, the camera's being awkward. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ball. Alright, so let's see what we get. See what we get. What? I don't want that. <laughs> One of the only things I didn't want. Again, if we can get inside the deeper tree without the sword, then we can do that next. I just totally forgot to check. I didn't even look. So, not a chest I need to worry about, so let's go back and grab the boss key. It's kind of cool that you can actually jump up here without the bow. people like the first people who played this game to figure out that you can actually jump on top of these pillars it looks hella high right and even then just to jump up here like that's so high up They did say the Fire Temple was the Wave Hero, so, like, has to be something. <laughs> I also do not have the, uh, Song of Time. But, we can still hit this, which is pretty awkward. <laughs> like, how do I hit this again? Oh, there's something in there. Heck yeah. No, this is probably the bow or... Dense fire. I guess dense fire. Uh... Let's go this way. I knew it was one of them. Uh, I kind of just want to go the other way, to be honest. I'm not sure why I went this way. Uh, no, there's technically one more chest that I didn't get yet. I'll, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. I'm gonna go this way. Wow. Now, I don't remember if I actually got a good item off of a uh, Diku merchant yet.
So let's see if this is even worth grabbing. Survey says yes. Wow! <laughs> no, dang it! Out of feeling. Tilted. Stick wrong. I wish there was a faster way up there, like a cheap way. <laughs> As long as I don't jump to the right, <laughs> that would suck so much. Ow. Can I get the bow too? Ah, oh, ice arrows. No, there's actually a, um... Cheat, I guess you can turn on. That allows you to, uh... Make it so the blue... Or ice arrows count as blue flame arrows. I don't think I turned that on, but it would've been nice. Check this one door. Where is it? it? Should be right there where that rock is rolling. No! There it is. Should be the last chest available. Ooh, there's something. I just want the bow. Or Ruto's letter. I'll take either. And we get the Lens of Truth. Boss. If I don't die, so I don't actually I actually do not have full health. I find interesting how you actually don't hurt yourself falling that high up. Uh let me reset the block so I can grab the health. So we need all the time we can get. Because we do not have arrows to do the fast kill. Yeah, I'm actually pretty bad with doing that bomb version of it. We'll see. Yeah, too bad I can't bottle one of these fairies. Let's see if I can actually do this correctly. Maybe I will be able to. Just do it the normal way, maybe. I guess I still don't know if I have enough time. So you hear the damage.
Is the uh, last chance. Oh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> nice. Oh, my gosh, I have three seconds left. Actually, I'm not 100% sure how that, how that works, but apparently. If you just keep dropping bombs in that first hole, you'll still do damage to it, even though it's not technically there. You just gotta make sure you knock it down, though, with the hammer. Hopefully, uh, the clock resets. It did it! Not like this. <laughs> I feel like I should just jumped into the thing. Alright, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I hope I don't have to refight it. If I have to refight it, I obviously can't. I don't have enough hearts. I should have just jumped into the light, to be honest. Just come back for the item. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was only bombs anyways. Oh well, that works out. Alright, cool. Um, I'm actually gonna take a restroom break real quick. And then we can continue on afterwards. We got our medallion. Uh, where was I gonna go next? Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take a break, I'll be right back.
Hey guys. We are back. So again, those who have just joined in, we are playing a pretty of time randomizer. It's been a long time. Uh, so far we've gotten only one actual well, I guess two. Two uh dungeons completed. And next up is the Shadow Temple. I want to assume Shadow Temple unlocks the uh, Song of Storms from Sheik. I do have the Lens of Truth too. Ooh. Which one is gonna be? I could just use the lens of truth, but I'm just gonna do it this way. Yeah, that's bound to be one of them. Um, I have a big feeling we're gonna get the bow in here. It's good. At least you better. <laughs> We did also die because we ran out of time in the boss room. Fire Temple boss room, but good thing it died before we died. Otherwise, we had to redo that fight. Ooh, all the keys, nice. I also had a feeling there was going to be keys in one of these rooms. Scoot back a little bit. Let's scoot back a little more. I want to be able to one cycle it. Another hand came back. Oh, what? It got hit. Ah, oh, I couldn't get it. It's called the Dead Hand. I was trying to think of the name. Hey, it's a heart. Go and grab that. <laughs> Goron sounds like getting higher pitched. <laughs> That's great. Ow. 
Oh, the, there's no last Goron sound. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think I did not check Zora's mountain or Zora's domain uh, shop. So there could be something in there. It could be the bow in there. All this time. to your left. All the way over there. Ow. I also remembered that I didn't check the uh, 20. Goals. There's a chance the uh, bow is on the 20 skull check. sounds are on the silver rupees. this all the way over. You know, there's uh, a couple tricks I never really learned. One of them is uh, block jumping. I haven't really figured out how to do that yet. Oh, these are both nothing. I guess I won't open. like a glitch you can do so that you can kind of jump for a bo or jump for a block even though you're not high enough or whatever no blocks too tall for you now let me just use eye trees Thank <laughs> you. 
I remember I got stuck here one time because I didn't realize you can use the hover boots. Let's get through this area. I have a feeling there are bows in here somewhere. Otherwise, it could be in the 20 skulls check. That could be right there. Hell yeah, I saw that. I'm not going to go back to the, uh, Forest Temple, unless we're completely stuck. Oh, what? <laughs> that one just canceled its attack. See, I don't think I really need anything. I just need Iron Boots and the Long Shot. Bosky chest. Mm. I don't think we actually need the, uh, right now. It was big chest. Come on. What we got? Oh, silvers. We can finish the spirit temple now. I think. I'm pretty sure we don't need a long shot to get to the boss room. I think I learned that. Because I think before I'm like, we can't do anything. I don't know, but you can actually stand close enough to hookshot it normally. I'll probably still check the other two couple rooms, or three. One's a skull room. I can go ahead and get that skull total. Oh yeah, I think I do need the bow to beat the shadow temple now that I think about it. So I forgot about the uh... The bridge you make with the statue. Pillar thing. Yeah. 
I didn't realize that I did leave one of the uh, grottos in the field without checking it. It's, well, there's two of them. Uh, one by the tree and then one um, just has a rock covering it. This moment, <laughs> the carrying didn't fire this whole time, just for this. Uh, oh, it's heart. We'll take the heart. Oh, we'll take the heart. Well, honestly, I think I have enough hearts to beat the game. I think I normally would just need five with double defense. That's good enough. Let's just be a skull back here. I'm just here for the skull. But I do also realize there's a couple of uh, Deku merchants I can check for. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and fight Bongo. See, uh, finish the rock maze too. I do not remember how this goes. I take it back, I do. Somehow. Oh my gosh. Slow way. 
normally you're supposed to, well, not normally, but a fast way you can do it is just jump attack at the eye. And then just poke it until it dies. That's like an extra save. Our next song. Let's go ahead and grab it. I still remember. Oh, well, let's do uh, the archery challenge. Since I'm right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this first. Let's I keep remembering things I haven't gotten yet. Actually, I wonder if I get a bottle from this blue flame. Hey, let's grab it. Might as well test it out. Oh yeah, we do. Hell yeah. And I can technically go to Zora's Fountain if I wanted to. Or Zora's, uh... Thingy. <laughs> Zora's Domain. So depending on what I get from um, the song drop, Do, I can't get that drop unless I had the bow already, so... It's funny, that's just a normal uh, reward. You get that normally. In the base game. Alright, what can we get this time? Arrows. Alright, what else is there? I'm down on the side of the, not the planet, but the side of the. Let's check the song. And depending on what I get here at this song, will probably tell me where I should go next. Though I could just do the spirit temple. I knew it. I'm going to the bottom of the well. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Right now. Oops. Get in there. Get in there. Huh? The Sacred Force Medal was supposed to be a Wave Hero, but technically didn't get anything, I don't think. I think we just got Warp Songs. We had the Minuet of Forest and I think another Warp Song. And so the Song of Storms drop might be hiding something. Uh, there anyways. Uh, not having the boomerang kind of sucks right now, but I think I have what I need to clear it. Mm. 
My window. My window. Uh, let's switch out for bomb juice. I actually don't need any. Well, I just need one of the keys. Even then, I think I can see it. Whether or not I need it. The chest. Take this route, but it's okay. I feel like it's more suspenseful if I actually leave it so I can't tell what the contents are of each chest. sound. See from Al back here. It is a normal chest, I think. I can't see your ass in the way. It's a heart chest. I don't really need extra hearts. I think this is the one that's normally used. something. Iron boots? Hookshot? Scale. Eh. It's not totally necessary, but it'll do. Small chest. I think next I can teleport to um, the lake. Oh, did that wrong. Did that wrong again. Just trying to break my stick. There you go. I 
got you this time. Oh dang it. <laughs> that was half a second late. This should be kill. See what this invisible chest gives me. If I can find it. Oh, it's small. One small too. And I believe there's only two more checks. Do you remember if that one check was a big check or a big chest or not? with the invisible entrance. Maybe it's a small one, so we don't want it. Last two. And after that, we'll teleport to... the lake. I should probably teleport to the sacred... Horse Meadow first. Oh yeah, I don't have the boomerang. Let's see if there's a fast way I can do this without having to open this. Maybe what we got. Uh, it's a shield I don't need. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not sure if it's even worth getting this scale. I don't really nothing's really locked behind the scale. Uh, this... <laughs> this had gotta be something good. Not quite. Not quite, huh? It's just whatever that warping song was. I guess. I don't know. Ow. Um, technically, Force might still have something. I'll wait till I exhaust all my options before going back there. And let me check to see if I can actually go inside the tree first. Might as well clear it. to go into Jabu at all. Oh yeah, I forgot the forest is actually barren. Whoops. Are you chilling? Nope. Looks like I could have cleared the... this guy. I'm gonna skip the hint. The only thing I need left is iron boots, long shot. Those are the major things. I could didn't fire that, but this chest to check, so go ahead and check them. Skip. I'm gonna skip chests I don't need to check. Oh, 
Oh, that's a big chest. Yeah, I do need to clear this dungeon, so I'll do that. I need to do kid side of, um... Oh, I could've gotten the bow a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Nope, nothing here. Squeaky. Squeaky uh, slingshot. Anything in here? Well, that's a chest. It's a big boy chest. That's a small boy chest over there. Boomerang is not really necessary as much anymore, but... Hey, it's the sword! It's the sword. I'll take it. want the skull. I just need five more skulls and I don't have to check these anymore. Yeah, good thing, uh... Well, I guess it would have been impossible for the, uh... tree to be closed since the sword's in here. Chess. There's a quick way to getting up there, but I just never figured out how to do it. I don't think I ever will. You link. What the heck, Link? It's because this guy's in the way. It is. <laughs> that was a funny spinning animation. Hey, it actually displaced the <laughs> this guy's sideways now. That's funny. I actually never done that before ever. Oops. <laughs> That's interesting. I stunned him, then I. Hit him right as he was swaying back and forth because I hit the front of him. Yeah, that was good stuff. Oh, oh yeah, I need one of these. I believe that's just a uh, 
Deku, or not Deku, a uh, Skotola thing in there. In the other room. And I can't even grab it because I don't have the boomerang. I think I'm also going to use Din's Fire here. Just make it easier for me. See if I can quick cycle this with my regular sword. Nothing in the spirit temple. So honestly, I don't even have to do anything with that right now. Um, trying to think what I can do. So I'll go to uh, Thor's domain. Wait. Since I have the scale already, I can go the short way. To see if there's uh, anything special out here. I don't remember if they said Jabu has nothing in it. That is a heart piece. I can grab it for fun. Shop. Luckily, I do have a uh, Dens Fire, so I can just do this. Get a big chest. No. Small baby chest. And we have nothing. Try to buy this for fun. Might as well, it's cheap. I don't think anything else is worth buying. <laughs> Blue rupee for 80. I didn't even check the gold rupee, but I doubt I need it. If I remember correctly, there's supposed to be a grotto in the middle down there. But I don't remember if it was for scrubs or for something else, I don't know. I remember when I turned on uh, beehives to be randomized. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, the ones that actually have something move very sporadically. Quad City is foolish! Oh. I wish I had that hit a long time ago, because I checked everything. <laughs> Pretty much. At least I don't have to see the rock maze, I guess. Let's 
trying to think what would be a good item to get. I still need the light arrows, I just realized. Uh, I need to check the, uh... Uh, there's a scrub merchant in the, uh, mountain crater. There's also that, uh, oops. Oh yeah, I need to make sure I grab the reward before going anywhere else. I made that mistake before too. Where, uh, you accidentally go somewhere else without collecting the reward. Uh, maybe I already grabbed those spots. That's one of the more magic. Nick! Sucks at life! <laughs> no. Thanks for the Prime subscription. How are you? And welcome on in. <laughs> your goat, my goat. We're all goats. Oh yeah, how was your hurricane experience? I think you're very far south from us, right? So I think you should have been okay. Um yeah, we're playing some Zelda Ocarina of Time. Kind of the randomizer of it, actually. volleyball today so I'm like let's just stream nice I think okay yeah I had a feeling this was nothing let's go to Spirit Temple area. So there's a couple things I can check out here. Alright, so pretty much the only thing I need to do in the Spirit Temple is just see if I can find any keys. Keys and boss keys. my favorite Zelda theme song right here. Now let's switch my shield out so it doesn't get burned. to go anywhere. Wow. <laughs> Whoops. 
Let's try that again. Please. I'm trying to do something. Oh, well, that's also not a uh, chest I can do anything with. It looks like I uh, can't even Ow. clear anything. So if there's nothing here, I guess we can go. Wah. We can go back to uh, Goron City. Oh damn it! <laughs> to go up to the uh, raider. I don't think I can do anything. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I might as well grab that heart while I'm here. It's the fastest way to get there. Let's get the forest. There's nothing in Goron City, that's right. I just remembered the merchants here. But no, pretty much all I need to check is the merchant in the crater. Oh, and this uh, hole right here. Let's see. This is way of your own. Yep, we got the uh, Zell's lullaby, lullaby from there. Unless there's those merchants there too. We'll check it later. Oh, the thing is, once I beat the spirit temple, we can get a song. I might have to beat the spirit, spirit temple next before I get the iron boots and long shot. So we'll do that. I check these things. I did check the uh berry here. I forgot about that skull right there. But we got it. Okay, cool. There's a skull in this box. This be? Oh, nothing. Alright, uh, let's. 
be an adult again. So I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. Let's go beat this beer temple. So we need to check that rock right there. It's nothing there. Mm, that's nothing. That's nah, also nothing. Looks like we got everything from uh, this area. Pretty sure the only major thing was the Zolazolva. Small chest. That means this other room will have the key ring. Oh, dang it. This is for you. for fun. Actually, I'm gonna have to grab both chests. Ow. Uh, we can actually just beat the boss, because there's nothing in this dungeon. Of course, that could be the big Goron sword, but... 
I have figured out how to beat it without needing a big Goron Sword. One more. Actually, do I even care? I don't. Mm, yeah, I don't have to worry about that one. Let's kill the skull. Sucks when you don't have that long shot here. You can't just hook to the top. Yeah, <laughs> I was clenching right there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's because. I don't really... I didn't put the mirror shirt on. I haven't done that in a while. I think if it's an easy chest, I should just go ahead and look for... Not be fancy. Huh. Oh my gosh, reach it. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, there's nothing, anyways. So I have a very heavy suspicion that we're gonna get the bonus song. And then we can go to the Gerudo training grounds, and that should be where we get the other stuff we need. Yeah, for some reason I thought you need the long shot to get to there, but I was mistaken. Oh dang it. I did that incorrectly. Cheater. Oh, no hearts. I need the hearts. I really do hope it's the uh, opponent song. It's at that point, not sure what to do.
I don't remember what it said. The uh, oh, they didn't tell me. That's why. And so like, what did they? Or what's the ice cavern song supposed to be? sucks. Oh, so normally, well not normally, but sometimes I would have the big one sword here, so I could just one cycle kill her, but we don't got that, so hopefully she plays nice. There was another ice at us. And she did it. She did it. That's how she laughs at us. There we go. Finish her. What? Didn't I get two of these already? Or did I lose it because I got hurt? That's very lame, actually. I guess I technically absorbed fire. Oh well, it's over. It sucks that it's always one hit away from killing her, if you only have a Master Sword. Alright. So the song drop is pretty much what's going to tell me. Or, well, there's something, or a couple I haven't checked in the main field. song drop first and then we can plan things from there. Uh, yeah, I could also get the last skull. It's gonna be in um We can get it from outside of Ganon's castle. You know, I might need that extra strength upgrade. Yep, I knew it. It's a bonus song, so I can go to Gerudo Valley now. I forgot if I said Gerudo Valley was foolish. I think that the fortress was foolish, but not actually Gruta Valley, so there's a couple checks there. So the major items I need is long shot, light arrows, and iron boots. If all goes well, we should be done in an hour or less. Hey. 
first I'm gonna check this guy over here. I don't believe I went into this one. Uh, not that one. I don't remember. Opening up the rock. Uh, but I did. Okay, so I did do it. But I did not. We can go straight to Gruta Valley then. Pretty sure I got that one too, yeah. I did. I remember. I can uh, give this guy my buzzsaw. So give me something else. Nice if it was the claim check, but again, I don't even know if I need strength three. Small chest. Assuming I'll find it in the training grounds. Inside the training grounds. Uh, I can also go to Desert Colossus real fast. And then come back here. time I didn't realize I can just hover boot across the desert like this.
<laughs> it's just very slow. Alright. Time to strain my eyes to see where we're going. for iron boots at least the iron boots that can roam around in water temple if the long shot might be in there already now and then we can finish the water temple though so, we're not out of the woods yet because we don't have the don't have the light arrows yet but i believe if you do oh yeah because we can just ask ganon where the light arrows are also if we get the key ring we can just get it all Get all the keys, get all the checks. At least in that middle of the place. Not where the gem is. It's kind of interesting that rolling kind of negates damage. I don't know how that works, but I'll take it. It's a harpies.
Small chests. What about the other one? Oh, they're all small. Dang it. Dang it. We just need one of them to be the key ring. And I'll be happy. I believe we get like 10 keys in this dungeon. Where is it? There it is. Oh. Aiming too far away. I would find the light arrows are gonna be in here somewhere. Slight feeling. Of course, it could also be in like Jabu or something random. Honestly, if I do finish the these temples, oh, could be right here. If I do finish all these temples, I could just there's the iron boots. I just talk to Ganon. I should probably just go talk to Ganon right now, actually. There's only nine. Interesting. It would suck if, uh... The light arrow's in here, too. This actually takes a while to get back here. Unless these are the light arrows, because I've gotten most of the big, like, capacity items, stuff with bombs. Oh, light arrows. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. We're done. Oh, too many rights. Nice. Again, okay, I could keep searching, maybe find a big bow on sword, but... Nah. Let's just finish this out. Alright, cool. I also have the, uh... Zora to me. So it's been a pretty painless seed. Pretty happy about that. Oh jeez, the footsteps are bongos drumming. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we just need... I think we just need the boss key, to be honest. Everything else is kind of optional. Assuming I can, uh, the water high, but at the same time, I can. Um, because it's easy to get to the, uh, top level to raise it, raise it back to the top. Oh man, it's gonna be somewhat annoying. <laughs> Listening to the bongo footsteps, or bongo drumming as I walk around. in here. Oh, there's one another one. Oh, you bastards. Alright, screw you guys. I didn't even see what chest that kind of chest that was. It is a heart chest. Yeah, I really should just skip it because it's annoying to All right, let's do this. I think it's easier if the chest is big. But the chest is small, it's harder to just do the roll. Roll grab. All right, here we go. Wow. Leave me alone. Um... 
remember which one I'm supposed to go into. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. View. <laughs> I could see what kind of chest that was. I think it might have been the key ring chest, actually. Yeah, we just need the boss key. It'll suck if the boss key's in here. And just lower the water for no reason. That's not the boss key. my mind I'm like why can't we just use dins here because normally you don't have dins <laughs> in the base game dang it Sick, my button press is a little lagging behind here oh nothing uh the other issue too is if I don't find anything I won't be able to even progress Uh, I need a key for that room, I believe. Definitely need a key for that. Do the boss key or the key ring? <laughs> and we got the key ring. Need to save reset. Need to find the boss key, beat Morpha, and beat Gant. And then we'll be done. <sighs> Finding the big Goron Sword would be nice, but not necessary. I thought I missed. <laughs> Get to the second. Second floor, go from behind. It's a good chance the key is 
in the boss, the actual boss key area. the shield uh, uh, sound. That'd be pretty funny. I think I'm a little too close to this. Let's back up a little bit. Just seeing the small uh, bomb chew icons is hilarious. I don't even know why. It's just this. Oh, I just want to grab these arrows, please. <laughs> the link can't make uh, tight turns with these boots on. That is not a key boss key. I'm gonna reset again. <laughs> the look on Link's face is like, son of a... to the very bottom bottom actually let's not go to the bottom bottom let's kind of go where intended just so it's kind of like somewhat intended If that was planned correctly. Oh, I didn't even need to do this. Oh well. Because I could get up here normally without having to do what I just did. It's all good. My original thought was there's some chests along the way. Now we'll just get them and then. Raise the water level when I got up here. I will say it is really nice having the long shot in this section. Yeah, once I get the boss key, I'm gonna reset. And having hovers in this room is pretty nice. I'm dumb. I'm super dumb. So what I was supposed to do is not move from the statue. Oh, what? Not move from the statue and just hook shot from the statue. To avoid all that mess. So you just hook this guy from here. Alright. Oh yeah, this Link is gonna take forever to kill. So apparently he has the same amount of HP that you have. And the defense bonus thing. So this is gonna take a while. I 
this. This is the way to counter. Just no side of movements and just turn around and hammer. This might take a while. No more if it has the same amount of like damage. Like, see, I'm missing a half a heart right now. I wonder if he technically is missing the same half a heart. Or does he just have full health? This might take a while. Oh, it didn't take as long as I thought. Of course, the hammer might just be like a full heart every time. I don't remember how many times I hit him. That is not the key. I don't have the Song of Time. Darn it. <laughs> so there's one more chest. There's one more chest. Uh, in the next area. But I can't get to it. I don't, think, I don't think I can. That means it has to be in the bottom. Bottom bottom where the original boss key is situated. over here. If this is not the key, then uh, we are stuck behind the uh, ice cavern. Because that's where we're going to get the song of time. Supposed to drop down there, I believe. Mombowski. Yeah. I wish I had Fire Rays Wind. <laughs> I wouldn't have to reset so many times. Alright, so let me finish this out. And then I have a date with some Helldiving. No, I guess I could technically stream that too, but... We'll see. way of trying to do this. Like a one cycle this guy. Where are you going? Oh my gosh. That's very unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. The hell? I think I keep getting too close to it when I start stabbing. You going nowhere? Nowhere. Done. I just think die any slower. <laughs> Come on. 
even know I got time for that. Rupee. I'm a fool. <laughs> Not a rupee. I'm gonna take this time to just look to see where the glass art is. I'm curious. It is uh, Swords River Open Grotto. Ah, oh. you know what? Maybe I should just grab it. Mm, nah, it's out of the way. It's out of the way. It's funny because they told me Zorge River is uh, foolish to check, and so I'd never checked it. So I'm just gonna not use it. Oh, going the wrong way. to kill Ganon. I need it to one cycle Ganon's first phase though. Oh. Just make it harder for myself. I do like that they fast forward that arrow animation. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Excuse you, huh? Jesus. So I usually get away with stabbing their feet. So their shield has slightly short hitbox. Works better when I have a big wild sword, but we don't got that. Hey, 
Let's do this thing. <laughs> Why did I leave my trident back in the desert? Go to training ground. Hey. I don't know if I can just shoot him right now. Like, while he's doing the ground pound thing. Streaming. Yes, we're still here. Oh, he's doing the thing. But not today. We're walking back. We caught me right at the tail end. We have found everything we needed and we are going to finish scanning off. I, mean, I think later we we're supposed to be playing uh, Helldivers with some of my buddies, but we'll see if that happens. That's um bomb rasta pasta. Mm. Sounds good. I actually made a uh, macaroni and cheese for the first time using like cheese, <laughs> but like not. I mean, cheese is store bought, obviously, but like it's not like pre whatever. It's not like powdered cheese. You just mix into the noodles and all that. That's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah. I also need to eat some dinners after this. It's from this one Jamaican restaurant. It's pretty creamy. It has a great kick. Nice. So it's kind of like, well, not jambalaya, but... Uh, for some reason, when I think Jamaican, I think jambalaya for some reason. It's kind of nice uh, knowing that I haven't lost my touch, that I pretty much remember most most of everything. please. Alright, one more. It's actually nice that you can actually hit him right off the start when you get your sword back. Just jump atop his face. I think I saw a kind of speedrunner slash randomizer player do that and I'm like, ooh, I learned something new. I mean, it's really cool watching other players play the same thing because you can just pick up on their techniques and such. Uh, but yeah, another randomizer in the bag. Haha, uh, yeah. It's GG. Are oh, we doing Helldivers in a little bit? Let's see. Let me just eat some dinner and get situated and do that. Yeah. Yeah. I also need to do my first descendant dailies. Let's see, I'm not sure what you guys are up to, but... I guess we can talk on the discords. Okay, with all that being said, I will catch you guys later. I don't know if I'll stream Helldivers or whatever we do later, but... It's been a nice first stream back-ish. Not sure if I'll stream a lot more often, but we'll see. I guess it depends on uh, my job. How busy it's gonna get. I do need to prioritize finishing <laughs> my actual work. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. And then we can reconvene and see what happens. Appreciate all of you. <laughs> I love how, uh... Okay, never mind. I remember, for some reason, I thought when he said you, that you suck. <laughs> but I guess I didn't say say all that. But anyways. Uh, will I stream a Trails again? You know, I've been meaning to go back to playing all the JRPGs. I still need to finish FF7 Rebirth. But I've not done that yet. 